Ben Franklin once said, time is money. Waste it now, pay for it later. And it's true, right? Even as an individual, if you're bleeding minutes, you're bleeding dollars. But in an organization made up of many people, the effect is exponentially greater. The cumulative amount of time being wasted or lost to distraction, procrastination, or slow, unmotivated work could be eating away tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars from your bottom line. So how can you cultivate a positive work ethic and maximize productivity in your business? Well, that's exactly what we're going to show you in this course. The average U.S. office employee spends only 2 hours and 53 minutes on productive work daily. 85% of workers report being actively disengaged in the office, costing U.S. companies $550 billion from lost productivity. The average employee spends 13 hours a week attending to emails, which means that 28% of the work week is taken by emails alone. These statistics show that productivity is an increasingly important area that businesses should focus on. This training is going to consist of a series of critical discussion points. These are designed to cover this broad topic as thoroughly as possible, to encourage growth in these vital areas, and to facilitate a real and fruitful discussion within your organization about how you can each improve on this essential characteristic, both at work and in your personal lives in general. Some of these will be pretty lengthy, and some will be relatively straightforward and brief. At the very end of this roadmap comes the most important final step. Discussion time. Do not skip this. This is the most important part of this training. When you finish this course, you need to spend at least an hour or so going over the questions we supply at the end as a group. Whoever's the head honcho in the group should designate a facilitator whose responsibility it is that each question is covered and that everyone, time permitting, is able to have their say. Make sure all contributions are valued, all suggestions considered, and all opinions respected. So, let's move into the first discussion point. Cultivate self-discipline. Self-discipline helps you stay focused in order to reach your goals. It is a crucial asset for any team member because it helps them get things done and creates a can-do attitude. In a working environment where employees are encouraged to develop and practice self-discipline, the need for supervisory intervention is greatly reduced. Here are some ways to help cultivate self-discipline at work. Make sure your employees know exactly what is expected of them. If they need to improve at any aspect of their job, let them know. Spend time helping them understand how they can adjust their focus and priorities. If you see any examples of self-initiative and self-discipline, praise the individual publicly and offer your support when necessary. Encourage them to visualize the results that their efforts will have on the team and the organization. This will help them see past the small details and have something worth striving for. Condition them to give their best at work and build ownership of tasks. When they become owners of certain tasks, they have more freedom when making decisions which in turn improves self-discipline. Set self-imposed deadlines. When tasks don't have an exact deadline, it can be tempting to push them back until eventually nothing gets completed. Encourage your team to set self-imposed deadlines. These deadlines create a false sense of urgency, helping your employees keep on task and avoid procrastination. Self-imposed deadlines also create a manageable level of stress so that your team members can focus and meet their goals. They're the perfect choice when your team often deals with open-ended projects or tasks. Develop strong time management skills. One of the hallmarks of productivity is efficient time management. 
Teach your team to skillfully manage their time by organizing their life and responsibilities in such a way that they dedicate fewer neural resources for their work. Here are some tips to help you out. Encourage them to develop a routine and actively use calendars and task lists. Let them set their limitations. They shouldn't be afraid to say no, especially when accepting a task means overextending themselves. A realistic workload will help them reduce stress and have better focus. Encourage them to get into the habit of practicing organizational skills, both at work and in their personal lives. List Crucial Results Daily Crucial results are essentially a list of tasks that should absolutely be completed during the day. Usually, crucial results are tasks that are critical in moving a project or goal forward. Ask your employees to list their top three crucial results at the beginning of every day. This would help both of you plan out each day and ensure that attention is given to the most important tasks. Declutter and organize. Messes may seem harmless, but having too much clutter on your desk and workspace can lead to emotional distress and chaos. Clutter distracts you, bombards your mind with stimuli, and creates feelings of guilt. Having less clutter will help you focus and waste less time. In fact, studies show that having less stuff can actually reduce your anxiety levels and increase your productivity. Check out the tips below to declutter and organize your workspace. Ask your team members to toss out old papers on their desk and create organized documents according to level of importance. Invest in a paper shredder. Keep personal items, trinkets, and decorations to a minimum. Get rid of bulky furniture and ensure that everyone has a clear path to enter, exit, and navigate around the office. Organize digital files. Delete old files on your desktop or store them in the cloud or an external hard drive. Have a labeling system for your folders. Unsubscribe from irrelevant or non-essential email lists. Create to-do lists. To-do lists give structure to your team's workday and provide them with a plan that they can follow. It's very satisfying to check off the tasks on the list once you're done with them. Make sure that these to-do lists are prepared the night before, so that you can start the day by looking at all the tasks that need to be done. There are plenty of apps and organizational platforms that allow you to assign tasks, organize workflow, and track work progress. By using digital to-do lists that can be shared and edited by the entire team, you can easily monitor everyone's work in one place. Schedule your day. There are many ways to create a schedule. One of the most effective ones is to break your day into chunks of time, whether by 15 minutes or a full hour. Block your day into equal chunks of time and assign tasks for each one. This makes it easier for you to track progress. If you can accomplish a task within that period of time, you'll know it's an area you'll need to pay more attention to. As much as possible, try tackling the tasks that require the most focus or mental power in the morning, preferably as soon as you get into the office. It's easier to complete these items when you're still fresh and full of energy. Consolidate tasks. Rapidly switching back and forth between two tasks adversely affects your performance at both. When you consolidate similar tasks, you can eliminate distractions and stop multitasking and switching tasks every now and then, both of which are actually antithetical to productivity. Group or batch similar tasks and work on them at a specific day of the week or time of day. For example, you can answer all your emails in the morning and leave your afternoon free to do other tasks. You can also try completing small tasks such as updating social media or following up with a supplier within a 30-minute block to have more time for other more important work. Prioritize tasks. Prioritizing tasks involves taking into account which tasks to focus on and choosing which tasks to put off for later or not do. Remember that there are tasks that you can delegate or complete in some other way. Although prioritizing responsibilities is a huge part of being a leader or manager, it's not an easy endeavor, especially when the work is piling up. Nonetheless, keep in mind that if everything is important, then nothing actually is. 
If your employees are spending all day jumping between tasks, trying to complete all of them, they're wasting precious time and energy. Instead, focus on key tasks and assignments and get them off your to-do list. Don't multitask. Contrary to popular belief, multitasking is not an efficient way to complete work. Trying to do so many things at the same time is more likely to result in lost time, inefficiencies, and disappointing results. If you want to get things done and done right, commit to your schedule and complete one task at a time. Research shows that multitasking lowers one's IQ and reduces one's performance. It is a proven productivity killer. It's better to do one task and get excellent results instead of three tasks with mediocre outcomes. If you find your focus drifting towards another task or screen, resist temptation and give what you are doing your full attention. Remove distractions. Distractions are a constant no matter what type of work you are doing or which industry your company is in. Social media, interruptions from coworkers, smartphone notifications or outside noise can all damage team productivity because of attention switching. Each distraction causes you to switch your focus, and it will take some time to regain the level of productivity you had before you got distracted. Try the following recommendations to reduce the amount of distractions while you are working. Invest in noise-canceling headphones. Turn off your phone and social media notifications. Avoid texting or answering personal phone calls while you are working on key tasks. Only answer emails during a specific time of the day. Stay away from uncomfortable or noisy workspaces. Move to a quieter environment if possible. Keep meetings brief. Meetings have a real place in any business. They help make sure that everyone's on the same page and help leaders and managers keep track of what's happening in the office. However, long or pointless meetings are a huge waste of time and accomplish nothing. You'll most likely find that most employees dread going to them. Here are some tips to remember if you want to keep your meetings short and simple and avoid wasting people's time and energy. Keep things brief. Have a specific goal for each meeting and make sure that all discussions focus on that agenda. Consider having a standing meeting to keep everyone's attention on the discussion. Make sure that only the people who need to be there are actually present. Don't bring in unnecessary people because that just leads to more time wasted for everyone involved. Remember that meetings are a two-way discussion. Try to avoid turning them into lectures. Give people a time limit when they do speak, and never let anyone monopolize the entire meeting. If you don't have anything to talk about, don't hold a meeting. Too many businesses waste time holding meetings at a specific day of the week, just because everyone's already so used to them. Use the cloud. Cloud-based apps are a great choice if you are looking to improve your team's productivity. They are also ideal when you have remote workers or if you offer flexible work opportunities for your team members. While not all tasks can be done on the cloud, there are definitely some that can be done there for streamlining. Here are some examples of cloud-based apps that you can benefit from. Use a cloud-based app for your company's custom databases. This would make it easier for sales teams, for example, to view and monitor sales and inventory, as well as input live sales and updates into the system, even when they're on the road. Project management apps can help improve team and customer communication when your team is working on multiple projects. Upload documents and documentation on the cloud to make them easier and more convenient for everyone to access. As much as possible, steer clear from using emails to send out documents, since this creates multiple versions have the original accessible to everyone. If you're having a tough time figuring out who's responsible for what, use a cloud-based task management app to make your life a lot easier. Automate. If you are spending a lot of time on repetitive tasks every day, remember that there are other solutions that you can try to manage your time better. Automating helps improve business productivity by reducing the need for human input on simple repetitive tasks. 
It's also the perfect option if there are tasks that need to be done but are beyond your direct expertise. Here are some examples of tasks that can be automated for increased productivity and efficiency. Marketing tasks including reminder emails, follow-up messages, and targeting specific customers for a particular promotion. Appointment scheduling and other administrative tasks. Paying bills and updating records. Approving common requests. CRM updates. Aggregating data for creation of business intelligence reports. Improve email management. One of the top guidelines to live by when it comes to dealing with emails is to never open them unless you actually have the time to respond. Opening emails when you don't have time to answer them takes away your focus on your current tasks. Plus, you'll have to spend time reading them again when you get the time to respond. Instead, let them sit in your inbox until you can actually focus on them. Aim to respond to email within two minutes or less. For internal communication, consider using group chats and instant messaging tools to reduce your team's workload. Experiment with different applications and platforms to determine which one works best for you and your team. Limit mobile notification. Your phone creates a world of distraction that can easily lead to minutes, if not hours, of wasted time. Unless you are actually using your phone to work, such as when you are promoting the company on social media, it's better to keep it away from your sight and turn off notifications from distracting apps. This will help you focus better on what you're working on. Use the Do Not Disturb mode on your phone to stop notifications from bothering you while you're working. Another great tip is to block websites on your computer if you find yourself getting constantly distracted by your personal social media notifications and activities. There are browser extensions that you can use for this. Manage your energy. Having the right mental state will ensure productivity at work. In order to be physically and mentally ready for a full day of work, you should have the energy needed to face the challenges that come your way. Here are some great habits to give you more energy. Eat healthy food to boost your brain power and avoid energy crashes. Avoid junk food and make sure that you observe a balanced diet. Regular exercise will keep you alert and energetic every day. Exercise also reduces stress hormones and promotes growth factors in the brain required for new neural connections. Listen to your body's needs. For example, if you need protein every morning to be ready for work, then make sure that you have it. Make sure that you make the most out of your mornings. It's the time of day when you have the most energy and when you are most focused. Schedule the tasks that require more mental energy for this period. Have a good night's rest. A good night's sleep is unparalleled. It can be tempting to sacrifice sleep in order to reach your goals and complete your tasks. This might work for you in the short term. After all, you're spending more time working. However, in the long term, the lack of sleep will catch up with you. Sleepless nights often lead to inability to concentrate, impaired working memory and logical reasoning, higher stress levels and adverse health effects. If you are not healthy, then you are most likely not productive. Make sure that you get 7 to 9 hours of sleep every night. If you can't manage that much every night, take a short nap during the day. Relieve stress. The leading cause of stress for American adults are pressures and fears at work. Excessively stressed employees are not good for your organization. However, when stress is managed wisely and used to motivate the team, it can be good for productivity. Your goal should be to combat burnout before it occurs. Here are some ways for you to help your employees relieve excessive stress. Encourage them to prioritize their physical, emotional, and mental health. This also means that you should ensure that your company culture is communicative and healthy. Ensure that there is an open dialogue between you and the rest of your team members. Adopt a stress relief routine that includes regular movement. For instance, encourage them to step outside for a walk after lunch, or giving them 10 minutes to stretch or walk around after their coffee break. Take some members of the team with you if you need to go off-site. Everyone should be entitled to paid time off. Lead by example and show your employees that you value the things that would keep stress at bay, such as good sleep, exercise, and relaxation. 
stand more. Although standing at your desk doesn't burn more calories than if you are sitting, standing up more does help reduce your risk of developing certain health conditions, such as shoulder and back pain, heart disease, obesity, cancer, and premature death. Encourage your team to stand more by offering to get standing desks for those who are interested in them. Another way to get your team to stand more is by holding standing meetings. These offer a great way for your team to focus on the agenda and also be able to disperse quickly. Just make sure that you have a preset agenda for all sessions. This would give the participants a better idea of what to expect so that they can prepare beforehand. Implement a Workplace Wellness Program Having a workplace wellness program is an effective way to show your employees that care about their long-term health. After all, when your employees aren't taking sick days, they are present at work and being productive. This also translates to lower health care and insurance costs for your organization. Make sure that your wellness program aligns with the company culture for consistency. Here are some great tips to help you build an effective wellness program for your team. Collect feedback from your employees to ensure that you are implementing the most popular ideas. Use a survey to collect their ideas as well as to identify the barriers and concerns that prevent them from leading a healthier lifestyle. Look into creating or using a corporate wellness app. This would have several functions such as keeping track of sleep, counting daily steps, or getting motivational tips. Make sure that the program is optional so that you're not alienating some employees while you are trying to pursue better health for everyone. Look for activities that would incorporate your team's friends and families. They are an integral part of your employees' lives and will help keep them more accountable and motivated. Take breaks. Breaks are important for employees no matter what organization or industry they belong to. They are a vital part of the creative process of getting things done. Even a few minutes to walk around, chat with a colleague, go to the restroom, or get some coffee can do wonders for their productivity. Breaks give your brain some time to rest so that you can focus better when you return to your desk and your pending tasks. Lunch breaks in particular should always be a part of your team's day. Excessive workload can result in sustained stress, worker burnout, and inefficiencies. Lunch breaks can serve as a mental cleanse where people can rest, recharge, and reset so that they can be just as productive in the afternoon. Be optimistic. Happy people are more productive. An entire body of research shows that employees who are happier are significantly more productive than those who are not. Make sure that you cultivate optimism in the office so that your employees have something good to look forward to every day. Negativity should have no place at work, so learn to see opportunities in tough and challenging situations. Foster a healthy work-life balance. Every organization is different, so what a work-life balance for you may be completely different from what it looks like for another organization. Find a good balance that works for your organization to show your employees that you prioritize their needs. For example, you may realize that your employees are more productive when they spend less time in the office. You can also offer flexible work schedules or an unlimited vacation policy. If you operate strictly on a standard 9-to-5 schedule, find other ways to accommodate your team's personal needs. Furthermore, make sure that there is an open system of communication in the office. Follow the Pareto Principle The 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, the law of the vital few, or the principle of factor sparsity, states that in any project, 80% of the results come from 20% of the effort. It was created by Vilfredo Pareto, an economist who saw that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the people. He started seeing the same thing in other parts of his life as well, and came up with a principle. If you choose the right things to focus on, then 80% of the results you get could come from just 20% of the solid work you're doing. Focusing on the most crucial 20% can ensure that you are getting the results that you want. To manage and prioritize all of the tasks on your list, use an app or a web-based platform to keep you on track. 
try the Pomodoro technique. Another Italian, Francesco Cirillo, invented the Pomodoro technique in the 1980s. Named after a tomato-shaped kitchen timer, the Pomodoro technique helps you cultivate intense focus to get a lot done in a short period of time. The Pomodoro technique is powerful and takes into account the limits of the human attention span to get people to focus on a single task. By building in periodic breaks, it ensures that you can work at a higher intensity for more of your day and ultimately get more done. To use the Pomodoro technique, follow a short set of steps. Set a timer for 25 minutes. It does not need to be tomato shaped. Work. Take a five minute break when the timer goes off and add a check mark to a piece of paper. Repeat. When you have four check marks, take a longer break of 15 to 20 minutes. Use the two minute rule. Many people interpret this rule as completing any task at work that requires two minutes or less right away. The two minute rule can actually kill employee productivity if you take it at face value and don't implement it correctly. To use the two minute rule properly, create a to do list that includes all your tasks and activities for the day. When you are creating this list, you'll realize that there are certain small tasks that seem like they can be done in a couple of minutes. Do them as soon as you can. However, make sure to come back to your list and finish it. Don't get bogged down in these small tasks and let them stop you from getting the more crucial tasks done for the day. Schedule less time than necessary. There is definitely some benefits to gain from giving yourself less time than you think you'll need. Work will expand to fit the time you've set aside for it. What this means is that if you schedule an hour for a specific task, you're more likely to use up that entire hour, even if you don't actually need the full hour to finish the task. On the other hand, giving yourself less time will force you to get the work done in that time, so you can move on to the next task more quickly. You'll realize that giving yourself a shorter deadline will make sure that you go through your list of tasks more quickly. Procrastinate productively. Procrastination isn't all that bad when we use that time to clean up, complete some of the smaller tasks on your to-do list, or even take a quick break to rest and reset. These things can reset your mind, give you more energy, and reinvigorate your productivity. You can also use procrastination productively by thinking about why you're putting off the task. Some people will try and put off tasks because they're perfectionists and would rather not do it instead of doing it poorly. Other people may find some thrill in being able to finish a task just in the nick of time. Have daily morning huddles. Every morning, schedule a 15-minute huddle with your team to go over each person's crucial results for the day. A regular morning huddle will ensure that everyone is on the same page and will let you know where your help is necessary. If you're finding it tough to allocate the time to this, schedule individual sit-downs with members of your team to review their work from the previous week and set expectations and objectives for the week. This will also allow you to come up with short-term goals and have enough time to revisit them. Consequently, you'll be able to better manage and measure your productivity at the end of the week. Visualize workloads. When employees are unclear about what they're supposed to do, you'll see a lot of duplicate work or efforts. It can also result in certain tasks not getting done because one team member assumes that someone else is responsible for them. Both are forms of waste. Visualizing work, priorities, and assignments makes it clear who is working on what. Here are some of its crucial benefits. When an employee sees a list of tasks next to his or her name, which everyone can see, it can incentivize them to work harder and smarter so that their work is done on time. When they complete one task, having a well-defined list that they can access at any point allows them to move on to the next item on that list right away without having to wonder what they should do next. It gives you an ability to see which employees may require your assistance, which employees could handle more work, and who is performing better than expected. Enable remote work. Remote work often results in more work done in less time, which in turn boosts your team's productivity. 
Remember that even though a formal office works well for providing collective resources and energy, it can also be a source of productivity loss for many people. Your employees will often get interrupted by other people while they are in the middle of work to attend to certain issues or questions that may not really be urgent. On the other hand, studies show that remote workers are more productive. They work more hours, take less sick leave, perform better, and are typically more engaged at work. Whether you offer employees certain days to work from home or let them work on a schedule that they determine, remember that flexibility boosts both morale and productivity. Delegate properly. One of the most common complaints about delegating work is that it gives the manager or leader more things to do. On top of doing their own work, they also have to supervise someone else's work. However, this isn't delegating at all. If you assign a task to a team member and then supervise them closely while they are working, you're micromanaging. Delegating properly means that you'll have more time to spend on your own work. The important thing to keep in mind is that you should match the right task to the right person. They should have the skills needed to complete the job. Furthermore, you should be able to trust them and leave them to get the job done right and on time. Equip your team with the right tools. While you need to make sure that your team has the right skills for the job, the tools that they use also play a significant role in overall business performance. Choose the right set of tools to make their work easier and create a streamlined workflow. Here are some examples of tools that can simplify your team members' work. Time and productivity tracking apps make it easier to monitor your team's hours and productivity with activity rates, so your organization can enhance workplace efficiency. Collaboration apps promote and streamline teamwork. Being able to work together in real time can do wonders for team chemistry and also allows the free and natural flow of ideas. Communication apps do a terrific job of keeping conversations organized and messages easier to keep track of. Use productivity metrics. In today's knowledge economy, businesses deal in ideas rather than widgets coming off an assembly line. Because of that, the traditional formula for productivity is no longer applicable. You can't just divide output by input to measure employee productivity. To precisely and properly measure productivity for your team and organization, you'll need to use productivity measuring tools. Choose tools that allow you to track, simplify, and manage projects across your entire team in an intuitive and user-friendly way. Efficiency versus Productivity Efficiency involves doing the same tasks with less resources. This means that in order to improve efficiency, your organization should consider reducing the amount of time and resources spent in producing a specific product or service. Essentially, improving efficiency entails streamlining. On the other hand, productivity is intrinsically tied to performance. It involves doing more with the same amount of resources. Unlike efficiency, an improvement in productivity brings about a corresponding increase in the output of a certain product or service. Cut out undeniable waste. A lot of managers make the mistake of saddling their teams with tasks and responsibilities that waste precious energy. While it is true that all jobs come with a certain level of administrative work, there should be a clear balance between doing crucial administrative duties and wasting time. Your goal is to ensure that your team is able to focus their time on valuable work. Plan for the unplanned. In every workplace, team, and organization, nothing is absolutely certain. Estimating time and durations isn't always accurate, even with the best tools at hand. Although tracking time will help you determine how and where your team's time is spent, productivity is a product of working efficiently as much as it is a product of delivering results given a fixed amount of capacity. To ensure productivity, manage expectations well. Don't overcommit because the work will continue to pile up. Your team will rush to meet deadlines and will most likely commit a bunch of careless mistakes. This doesn't mean that you want them working at a relaxed pace. Instead, you should have enough time to allow your unexpected commitments and tasks. Incentivize performance. 
Performance incentives encourage employees to work harder and deliver great results. Offering them praise and rewards in front of their coworkers is a great way to ensure that they're doing their best no matter what tasks they're working on. Some examples of performance incentives that drive productivity are the following. Offer paid vacations or tickets to popular events for top performers. Offer financial incentive when employees need to work longer hours. Extra hours worked in a given week can add to time off in the future. Reward results and achievements with annual bonuses or perks. Reward effort by awarding points to employees, which they can exchange for gift cards and merchandise. And now it's discussion time, the most important part of this training. Whoever's the lead honcho in the group should designate a facilitator whose responsibility it is that each of the questions you see on your screen is covered and that everyone, time permitting, is able to have their say. Make sure all contributions are valued, all suggestions considered, and all opinions respected.